Welcome back to Manual Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I show you what's going on on our lovely island of Horn Hollow today. Where we'll be relaxing as per usual. Um, you know, we're vibing out, relaxing, having a good time. Um, I don't really know what I was going to say. I don't really have a conversation um, prepared, I suppose, in that sense. Um, but um, Zen... Zen Zenless Zone Zero has been released, a new um, Hoyoverse game, the creators of Genshin Impact. Am I going to give it a try? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, Genshin Impact was a surprise hit, but we'll get on to this. Good evening, everyone. Hey, nine four hello. It's 11.04 p.m. on Thursday, July 4th, 2024. Um, happy America Day, everyone in the USA or US Independence Day. Hope you're having a grand old time celebrating. Or have, no, might, might be having, I suppose. Think about American time zones when you'll see this. Um... But yeah, America. <laughs> um, I mean, talking about birds. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Well, we'll get into that segue afterwards. But pretend I said the segue later because I, I forgot I was talking about Zender Zone Zero released today. Um, I, absolutely, I'm going to give it a try. I mean, Genshin Impact, like, I didn't play for ages. And when I started playing because, like, I saw a friend playing it and I was like, whoa, this is actually, like, surprisingly fun. I actually really enjoy this game. Um, it's sort of like, on my alley. It's like a gacha game, but it's like really, really polished. <laughs> and you know, the gacha game, not the gacha model particularly appeals to me, but like the, the things which are common in gacha games tend to appeal to me, etc. Uh, etc. Et so I was like, okay, you know, Genshin Impact, you know, took us that fancy. And then Honkai Star Rail came out, and I was like, all right, you know, I'll give it a shot, you know, the Hoyo verse, and we'll see if I like it. And you know, it turns out I really like Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail is really fun. Um, um, it, it, the only thing missing from Honko Star Wars is that it needs its absolute banger of a story, I think, you know. Pentagoni, I think, was a step in the right direction, but, you know, there's some, 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 like, ups and downs, I suppose, within it. It's, it's just, like, it, it needs its Fontaine patch, you know, like in Genshin Impact, where, like, the story goes pow, 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 pow. <laughs> For me, personally, to be like, yes. But Honko Star Wars, I, I, I adore playing, I love playing it. Sometimes I might enjoy it even more with Genshin Impact, I suppose, but that's probably because Honkai Star Rail definitely feels like it's evolving, um, more or less. Uh, I was going to run around and do stuff, but you know what You know what I'll do? I'll clear up the rest of the flowers and the weeds, which um, pro, uh, has very much gone out of control ever since I've stopped clearing them up, really, <laughs> every day. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm like, okay, but by this point, Mihoyoverse, you've um, earned my, like... I don't, I don't know if company trust is really the right word, but it's sort of a little thing like, okay, you, you won me over, you shown, you proved to me twice already that you can make solid games, which I'm invested in, which I love. Um, no! Shovel. And the store's not going to even be open right now, so we can't. We have to go um, make a shovel. Oh. <laughs> Tarnish a fork. Um. Sorry, yes, my holy verse um, is sort of like, yep, you've proved to me already, you can make a game which I probably enjoy playing and I will like, well, I like playing, so, you know, I'll, I'll give this one a go. I will say I'm less sold on this one compared to the other ones. Genshin, I was kind of like more sold on immediately because I like, you know, high sort of fantasy, magical fantasy. That appears to my senses. And Honkai Star Rail, I was sort of like back and forth a little bit about, like, initially, but I was like, some of the designs I think like are really cool. Like, I loved Kafka's design. Um... She was a big one. I'm trying to think who else I like, really like straight off the bat. Saval, I think, was a, was like a, a, another really cool one. I thought Clara also had like a really cool design. Um, so I was like, okay, like uh, the interestingness of these character designs have very much won me over. Now we get to Zona, Zona Zen Zero, and I, I think I've been le least interested in this game compared to the others. Um, but, you know, it might prove me wrong, you know. It's combat, I hear, is meant to be like Devil May Cry esque, or like a Devil May Cry Bayonet of a sort of like combo beat em up esque uh, game. So, which I'm like, I'm, I'm interested in like giving that a shot. I've not played Devil May Cry. Um, I don't think I played Bayonetta. Like, I guess the closest I would have played would be like Darksiders, but that's not really the same. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wanting to give it a go. The thing is, most of the characters don't like super appeal to me in a design sense. Like, um, obviously, like Rock, I was just like, whoa, I did not expect to see, like, a full-on anthropomorphic animal character in, um, a catch game. That's, like, a, a very sort of rare breed, um, mind you. So, you know, he looks pretty cool. But, like, for the rest of the characters, I'm like, okay, you know, but, but this game feels very, very much more anime-esque, I suppose. Like, much more. 
you know, Honkai Star Rail, I, I feel like, has quite actually quite a lot of strong Western um, influences in the style that I suppose it chooses um, for character designs, etc., etc. But it still feels, you know, like it's got the core, like um, um, Japanese gacha designs as well at its heart. While uh, Zona Sen Zero, I feel like, goes leans much more hard into that, that anime esque direction, which I'm not going to say is necessarily a bad thing. It's just like a different thing, isn't it? Like, it'll, it'll, it'll appeal to you more. Or, or less depending on um, what sort of designs I suppose you like so uh, I don't know I think I think uh, the Lycan Rock guy looks kind of cool I think um, Billy is that his name but the, the, like masked guy looks kind of cool um, yeah I don't I, I don't really know like none of them are like super jumping out to me immediately but uh, I, I think it's very plausible that I will eventually just be like, oh yeah, you know, I, I like the character's personalities or the stories or like interesting, engaging. Um, and the thing I see, like I, I was reading some of like people's initial impressions, I suppose, of it um, was like the game plays like fine or whatever, but like the game is sort of just like oozing, like um, not vibe, what's the word? Like character, I suppose. But uh, it, it's a thing I, I saw people say it was just like it's crazy it's like dripping in like style essentially and I was like okay you know I can I can get behind that I'm willing willing to give it a shot you know <laughs> if it doesn't end up being my thing it doesn't end up being my thing then so be it it kind of I suppose really it's like is the gameplay loop fun because <laughs> I'm very satiated and I was satisfied with like the Genshin and Star Rail one where it's just like oh you log in you do on, on days where you don't feel like engaging that much you can do dailies you can engage with like a, a little bit I suppose like a mm, like a taster I suppose of what the mechanics are to offer and it's nothing like particularly challenging and then like every so often like when I'm like oh you know I'm, I'm a bit itch of playing something a bit more in, um, involved with it you know you like can go like do the, the spiral abyss or the memory of chaos or something something more challenging or I can engage with a story quest and uh, like learn more about the characters or something like that. There, there, there's a lot of opportunities, I suppose, to like tailor how much gameplay I want, because it's sort of like a lot of games I want like a very small like base level of gameplay, you know. But I, I like the small check-ins every single day, you know. It fits uh, the way I play games pretty, pretty well. I, I don't really like binging games, <laughs> in that sense. But when I want to, you know, have a bit more, I yeah, can choose to have a bit more. It, 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 it's interesting, I suppose, in that regard. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, oh, a Raymond Audi conversation, a peppy smug one. Let's see what else is being said. Uh, I want to dance. Hey Raymond, what kind of song would I be, you know, if I were a song? Probably some kind of issue love song. Full of dramatic twists. Or, uh, what, what, what do you think? Uh, a breakup song. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. I can see you bursting out a breakup song on a say surrounded by adoring fans. I have an ex Taylor Swift, I see. Really awesome. Although, do I really have to have a sad breakup first? Do you have like a, a mutual breakup, I suppose? Maybe that doesn't get like uh, the fun um, songs out, you know. Uh, very, very popular, I suppose, so Western pop to have a lot of like breakout songs, you know, young female artists, certainly. Feels like a very common one. I was thinking this when I, we were watching, who is it, like Maisie Peters, the name of a Coldplay concert. I was like, every single one of her songs feels like a breakup song <laughs> of some kind. Of like a screw you, I'm like, I'm over you, sort of. Um, song, which is, I'm not going to say it was necessarily a bad thing, you know, if that's something she wants to sing about, then by all means, <laughs> who might dictate what direction she takes her songs in. Now, it was, it was just an observation. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Zen Zen Zero. Zen Zone Zero. Zen Zone Zero. <laughs> Zen Zone Zero. It's intriguing enough that I'm like, okay, well, we'll see how it goes. I don't, I don't really know what else to expect from it but it's 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 weird because i was like some of the trailers didn't like initially pull me in or anything but yeah again Honkai star rail didn't initially pull me in either but i, I do like Honkai star rail's um gameplay sort of style with um the turn-based rpg thing so i don't know i had to just sort of see what ends up happening but it's like company loyalty in a, in, in a weird way where it's sort of like oh you know I've had so much good times I, I suppose playing um, games from that your company made and then, you know it's sort of like a, you've earned, you've earned my trust in that sense um, I also need to start moving some or deleting some videos from my D drive I have just realized it's getting incredibly full um, to extent but I don't think I could record 
I can I can still record another Animal Crossing episode, but probably not for many other things. So what's the last thing that was uploaded? Let's start deleting some videos from my drive. 43 or Paradise Killer, okay. Paradise Killer 43, gone. Akami 70? Akami 70, gone. 37 Talus Principle. Gone. I was keeping stuff in my backup as well. What's this? 43, wait, wait, why do I have 43 twice here? Is, I, I really need to just get like an, another SSD or something at some point. Oh, like... Okay, I can, I can delete 44 and 45 from this. 60 gigabytes, okay. That's good. 60 gigabytes on each, that's probably balanced enough that it'll work out. Um, you might be like, how's the thumbnail that come along? It's so nearly done. It's not quite done yet. Um, I, I, I'd say it's plausible you see it tomorrow. If I finish it off tonight and then like edit the video together, then maybe tomorrow morning I'll do the dub um, over it. And then you might be able to see it. I don't, I don't know. Um, how's it looking? I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like it feels like I'm like after I've done the lighting, the lighting feels done, like not incredibly different from how I usually do, but like it, it's ended up a lot darker than I intended it to be. Like uh, not darker as in like horrific dark or something. I mean like literally like light, 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 light and dark, dark. <laughs> So I, I'm trying to think if I should like brighten up the shadows on it a little bit more or something. It does give it like a sort of like almost dreamy, not dreamy, but like a, a, a dreary, not dreary, ble bleary eyed like morning sort of feel, which is kind of like fine, I think. It's just like a very sort of weird, um, like the, the lighting like really confused me. Like, I, I mean, when you see the fun, I'll probably talk over it, but like it, <laughs> shading really, really confused me. And I think the shading doesn't, like I cheated a lot with the shading in this one um, to make it like, it doesn't make a hundred percent sense to what actually is physically there, but I cheated to make it, in my opinion, look a bit better. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, it's, it's, it just basically needs, it's like final touch ups. I think, I also need to do some highlights on Vivian and another part which I won't say um, and I think that once those highlights are done basically the rest of it is like oh you know like coloured line art like you know the, the, the final like finishing touches so finally it'll be done um, there are like other things I think I should do as well but I'm not exactly sure how what I'm gonna do with that yet so we'll see anyway so sort of like, it's sort of like um company trust in a sense which is like weird to say because obviously you know, like I, I don't often i mean like, i'm trying to think how, how i say this like, i don't like often delve really into like capitalist sort of like topics or things like that i often but i i understand like with the scenario where we come from do i agree with them no not necessarily but you know i, I don't want it to become like a mm, you choose to critique society but you yet you choose to like live in it sort of thing which is obviously you know a bit of a farce, isn't it? Um, I forgot where I was going with this. Yeah, so it, it feels a bit weird to, I, I guess, brand loyalty. Like, I mean, it is a thing. Like, at the end of the day, you know, it's not, like, inherently a bad thing. It just sort of sounds a bit weird, I suppose, when you follow up with, like, critique of capitalism or something. And it's like, oh, but you have brand loyalty to things. Yeah, there are brands which I stick by because I like the products that have been made. And then when I no longer like a product saver me, then I guess I will no longer stick by them. <laughs> in that sense. It's a meritocracy to win over my, um, to win over my trust. So uh, I'm on Neopets here. I just sold like 26,000 shares of the BB stock because it was at 48. Just made a million Neo points. Beautiful. <laughs> Start needing to think about how, how am I going to get a Lutari, you know? There's no cheap way to get a Lutari. That's the thing. Any who. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. What was I going to say? I don't know, that was kind of, just kind of it. Um. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Just sort of like company like lo loyalty. Like what other companies would I say that yeah I'd, I'd be kind of like loyal to because of like products they've made or etc etc. Um, that's a good question. I'm not really sure off the top of my head. Um, 
like I was gonna say Nintendo but that's not even correct because it's not like I've bought all Nintendo games and things out but I've, I've gotten every console eventually but only at a point where it's just like oh yeah I had something that I wanted from them. Poor the King 2 is on my Steam recommended. <laughs> Excuse me? It's a dating sim. Um, on my uh, people like you love or something. Let, let's see what's in my queue. Let's see what's in my queue. First Descendant. I've never even heard of this game. Mixed reviews. Okay, well, I mean... I don't know what this Robot Rabbit thing is. That's kind of cool, but whatever. Fallen Aces. I've also never heard of this. What is this? An immersive sim FPS noir action. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. I'm not sure it's up my alley, but it sounds pretty cool. Shin Megami Tensei 5. Maybe at some point I'll play this game. It's not today. Dragon's Dogma 2. Why is it so mixed? I thought Dragon's Dogma was good. Oh, it's not that great. Crashes non-stop. Okay, fair enough. Skip. Last Epic. I feel like I've heard of this game, but no, not interested. Selako. Never even heard of this before. Very positive though, so, you know. Great job, developers. Dread and Delusion. Not heard of this game. There's so many games out there. Talos Principle 2, Road to Elysium. Oh. It's the... The whatchamacallit? It's the... The DLC. To Talos Principle. Which, I mean, I haven't even finished Talos Principle 2 yet, so I don't know if, if I'd... <laughs> I I should I haven't even played the sequel to Talos Principle One. Like uh, sorry, not sequel, the DLC to Talos Principle One. I should probably do that at some point, huh? Bell right, Tekken eight, eight, Goat Simulator three. Until then, that sounds like a really cute game. Until then, a rare indie gem. I mean, people like it. It seems like a very story sort of driven game. Okay, that is my wish list. We'll see how it goes. I can I can see myself getting into that sort of game. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, I forgot what I was going to be saying about this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like company loyalty in that sense, where it's just like, oh yeah, you know, you've proven before that yeah, you made stuff and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I don't see why the future stuff you make doesn't deserve a chance to see if I like it as well. You know, corporate shell, corporate shell. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not sponsored by. Me tell you. If I was, I would have to tell you. Legally. Um, UK law, sort of, for great reasons, specifies the fact that you, if you're sponsored by someone, you have to disclose it. Fun fact. So, yeah, anyway, I'm not, but still. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm making work of a thumbnail art now. I'm just trying to sort of think what to draw on it. Um, tick, tick, question mark? Maybe like that? I don't, I don't really know. Should I, should I draw the Hoyoverse logo? Very badly. It, it's getting more and more obscure. I'm like, de de the thumbnail arts are devolving because you'll never see them again, hopefully. Um, on that note, I'm going to round this episode up here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been doing darling. Like, comment, subscription, share is greatly appreciated. Social Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now. And happy Independence Day, those of you in the US. Oh, that's not your way. Wait. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> I was like, how do I round up my episodes?